Good morning and happy Friday. It's Friday, the end of the week. It's not really the end of the week for us. Saturday is our Friday right now. So, uh, but yay, happy Friday to those of you that are celebrating Friday on Friday. But actually, now that I think about it, it's Saturday for you guys because we upload these videos a day after we film them. So happy day, whatever day it is. I just made breakfast and I wanted to share it with you guys because I know I haven't done that in a while, but I'm having some scrambled cheesy eggs with ketchup and toast. Oh yeah, loving it. All right, you guys, I have mowed the lawn. It's really hot. It was also really tall. Um, these afternoon rainstorms have been like making the, right, the grass grow so fast. Also, these sunglasses are from one of you guys and they have little mustaches on them. Thanks. And my lawnmower ran out of gas before I could get to the back end of the yard, so that still looks pretty cray. I'll have to finish that tomorrow. But it's beautiful outside. It's really hot, but beautiful. Just kind of wanted to show you what I was doing. I'm upstairs in the bathroom. I don't think we've actually even ever shown you this bathroom, but maybe we have, but not often. Anyway, I have a grocery bag on my head because I'm doing an Olaplex treatment on my hair. This is something that my hairstylist told me to get and I'm so happy that she did because it's a great thing to do weekly, especially if you do as much like chemical treatments as I do, as far as the dyeing and I just bleached my hair and all that fun stuff. This is a lifesaver and it really makes your hair shiny and smooth when it's really not shiny and smooth, so yay. So I wanted to show you that. All right, it is dinner time, so tonight, we are having these chimichurri burgers with avocado, Monterey Jack, and cabbage slaw. I'm so excited. This is one of the items that we did have to purchase new meat for. So we just got some lean ground beef from Publix to replace it. And this is everything that you're gonna need. Buns, cheese, the coleslaw mixture, parsley, garlic, avocado, tomato, little jar of mayonnaise, and a lemon. So right now I am going to get this party started. I'm going to Finely chop the parsley, zest half of this lemon, mince one clove of this garlic, and cut this tomato into rounds. I've got my produce prepped for this part anyway. So now it's time to make the slaw. The slaw is looking a little bit rough, like it was warm for maybe a day. So it's, I don't know if it's gonna be like the best slaw, but let's make it. So we're gonna throw this in this bowl with half the parsley. I need a tablespoon of mayonnaise. Uh, is, that, is, is a tablespoon two teaspoons? I don't think so. Is it more? Um, I don't know. And then we're gonna do a squeeze of the lemon juice. I have to believe you on that one, I couldn't really see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to do it over my hand. And give it a mix. And I think we need to put in some salt and pepper too, actually, hold on. A little salt, a little pepper. I think that's pretty good, right? Or yeah, looks good to me. Get it sort of de-clumped. Fluffy. Yeah. Should we try it and see if it's okay? I'll try it, because it's a lot. It just has a lot of mayonnaise. Oh no. Yeah, I think it's good. Well. Um. Is it bad? They used miracle whip. They did? No. That doesn't taste like real mayonnaise to me. It says mayonnaise. Maybe it's because it's from the Ozarks. Now we're gonna make the chimichurri sauce. So we're gonna take the rest of our parsley, a pinch of the lemon zest. You Camera think? couldn't follow you, you were too fast. You think that's enough? A pinch of garlic. A squeeze of lemon juice. Uh-oh. Oh my. Lost a, lost a seed there. All right, let's see if I can do it this time. All right. <laughs> oh no, it's at a drizzle. And then a little salt and pepper. I just figured you had to have like... This is taste and adjust with more salt, lemon, oil, or garlic as needed. What? It's like, what do you like? Just how put it you, in there. How do you know what it is supposed to taste like? What is it supposed to look like? They don't give you the picture really? It's like really tiny. This picture right here. <laughs> what do you think? No? I have, I've never had chimichurri before. Yeah, well, we have it at Food & Wine every year. Oh. The, the little skewers. That's chimichurri, that green let me, stuff. Let me try it. Pretty good, it's very fresh tasting. Pretty lemony. Woo. Yeah. Mm. What does it need? More garlic? 
I think it needs a little bit more garlic and a little bit more oil. Because it's supposed to be like a sauce. Okay, that's right. Is it? Yep. I have to go out and clean the grill really quick. Oh no, I gotta form the burgers. They just formed my meat patties and we seasoned them. We had a little bit of extra meat because we had to get it from the store so we couldn't get the exact amount that they gave us, but we have enough for three. So there you go. They sent us too much cheese. So now we have an extra cheesy burger to make. So I've sliced half of my avocado and diced up the other half of the avocado. I'm gonna put that in my coleslaw. I have halved my buns. These buns actually look really good. Um, sorry I didn't film any of that. I was watching the Goldbergs and I totally spaced out and did not film any of that. But I am going to open my favorite bottle of wine. So excited. I don't think that I formed these burgers to be big enough, unfortunately. But actually we probably could have just made two burgers with the amount oh, of yeah. meat that we had. So ding dang. Now we're going to top it with some chimichurri. It said to put a generous portion. Is that good? Yep. Some sliced avocado. And do you want two tomatoes or one? Mm, two. All right. If they'll stay. This is so good. I used to think that I didn't like chimichurri. This burger has changed my mind. Oh yeah. And now we know amazing. how to make chimichurri. That's the one thing that I keep telling myself about these boxes is that I just keep learning new things that I can add to my, my recipe lock box up here mm. in, in my noodle. I'm your recipe repertoire. <laughs> my repertoire. My reptar. It's so fresh tasting. It is. Yeah, that's the chimichurri, I think. Like, I don't, is, that a, is that a flavor? Fresh? Because yeah. it's amazing. Like, oh. it's the lemon zest, I think, and the, and the parsley. Yeah. I want to eat this all the time. It's not like, you know how sometimes you eat a burger and it makes you feel heavy? Mm-hmm. This doesn't do that. It makes you feel like refreshed. So I know yesterday I told you guys we were going to open up the tripod. We never did. So I wanted to open it up for you guys right now. And let's do an unboxing really quick of my new tripod. So, let's see here. Opened it up, all right? And first thing that we see, nothing else in the box, that's it, is the tripod inside of a case, inside of a bag. There it is, there it is, it's little case. This is the size of the tripod folded up. So this could fit inside the backpack, no problem, and we could take it to Disney and set it up to do our fireworks shop like we did on the 4th of July and it was kind of shaky because I was holding the camera. Next time I'll be able to put it on the tripod. Let's see what's inside of this case. Another bag. First thing that you probably noticed about this is that it's red, white, and blue. This color combination happened to be a little bit cheaper on Amazon than just plain old black. So I got red, white, and blue. Yeah, so this is it fully folded up. And then when you're ready to use it, you bring out the legs, right? Push the little blue button to get them to lock into place. And then each one of the legs has four extending sections that you can lower out. It's not as quick as a traditional tripod because you have to undo each one of these little sections, but it is very compact. And there it is. This is its full height. And I am six foot two. So you can see this thing is like, if I put the camera on there, it's right at eye level. Perfect. And it can be lowered down like this. There is a little hook on the bottom here that you can pull out and you can hang a weight from to stabilize it a little bit more. If you wanted to, you can unscrew one of the legs and unscrew the head and put it on that leg and it becomes a monopod. There are so many different combinations that you can do with this tripod as far as height combinations. So there's all the way up. Each one of the legs can fold to an even wider stance to make it so that it can be lower down than it was before without actually... I don't know why you would use it like that though. I don't know, <laughs> but it can be done. But yeah, there's our new tripod. What do you guys think? This is the Mi Photo Backpacker. Orange flower, rose, um, and there are a couple of other things that I'm not totally sure how to pronounce. This is the hot liquid candy sauce and it's like caramel sort of looking. So I guess we should try this now. We just filmed a video for Jen's channel of like gross candy. It was gross. <laughs> it was gross. We, um, I figured we should taste all of these. Not gross, I shouldn't say gross because I'm sure some of you guys eat these candies and you're like, hey, wait a minute, I don't think they're gross. They're just different than the candies that we normally eat. So we thought we would give them a little taste test and 
it was fun. It was a little bit barfy, but it was fun. So we just finished recording all of our vlogs for my channel. Yeah. Did you love it? It was fun. Did you show any of it to this to this vlog? Yeah. Oh, you guys got to see some of it. Yay. Now it's time for me to go to sleep. And now it's time for you to make the rice. Now it's time for me to e make somebody nice. <laughs> yeah. I'm on the nice list for Santa Claus. That reminds me of the Real Housewives of New York City when Dorinda kept saying, I made it nice for you. I made it nice. So now we're all rooting for you. It's pretty much along the same lines as that. Yeah. Is it bedtime? Yeah, it's 10 o'clock. But I didn't even it's finish filming all my videos. 9.48. I only filmed five videos for you guys and I have six more to film. I only filmed five of them. But I hope you guys enjoy all the new videos that are coming up on my channel. I will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out if you would like to. Um, but for now, I'm holding in a yawn so hard right now, but check this out now that we have fast internet We should be able to be putting up more videos. Yeah, that's why I filmed five videos I'm gonna put them up daily so they won't go up all five tomorrow because that would be crazy But I'll put one up each day that way I'm kind of like getting you guys back into the swing of things on my channel or I'm getting back into the swing of things on my channel So yeah, I hope you guys are excited for them. So holding in that yawn. Okay. I will <laughs> see you guys tomorrow <laughs> And now it's time to pay the price on. All right, there you have it. And now it's really time to pay the price. Yeah, everybody just yawn.